The People Station, 93.7 WBLK, Jazzy T in the afternoons. And with me, I have a very special guest, Mr. Eric Benet. Welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. And yourself? I am doing wonderfully well. Congratulations. I understand you had a chance to perform at the White House for the inauguration ball. Yeah, that was really a dream come true. That's one of those nights that just goes down in in the history books of your life. So are Barack and Michelle as much in love as they seem? Clearly. I mean, you can't fake that so convincingly, you Mm -hmm. know, because there was just like times like throughout the night, you might look over at them and even while they're on the dance floor, like getting sweaty, dancing, you know, you could just see like them looking at each other and like see the love. And I mean, you can't fake that. Oh, that's so beautiful. And and, uh, so is that like when you were growing up, um, congratulations, first of all, on your marriage. A lot of people don't realize that you got married. And uh, because I was having the fans ask what they wanted me to ask you today. And I had a lot of questions about who is he dating and things like that. And I'm like, he's married. (laughs) So congratulations on that. And how is marriage life? Absolutely wonderful. My wife is uh, by all manner of the definition of the phrase is my better half she's just just this beautiful individual from the inside out and to make it even better she's turned out to be the world's best mother we have a 13 month old gift from god uh, lucia bella and she's just an amazing little baby and my wife is just i'm just one blessed individual so was she the inspiration behind your latest album title, The One? The real meaning behind The One was this was the record that um, like I've been dreaming of making my whole life. I, I wanted to make a record that was um, that I owned completely um, and released independently, you know, on my own label. That's pretty much been my dream. And this album is the one. This is the one that I've been trying to make. We've been playing um, news for you. We got a lot of uh, good response from from that single. What's the next single that you're planning on releasing? First, I want to say thank you for all the positive you know, people loving news for you. Uh, that song is kind of like my homage to Frankie Beverly and Earth, Wind and Fire. Yes. This is that song. Um, I'm thinking about releasing this song next on the album, um, and it's called Running. It's really a song about. Uh, you know, going through the process of growing up as it relates to being in relationships and finding the, what that feels like when all the other extracurricular things you used to do in the past <laughs> don't matter at all. Yeah, y'all might have to check that song out too. And there was another uh, fan question. A guy had asked if uh, you consider yourself addicted to sex or is that all in the past? Is if you left that lifestyle um, alone now that you have settled down and got a new baby and got a wife and are, are those urges still the same? Well, you know what? Um, you know, that whole thing was really just blown out of proportion. No, nah, I don't think I'm any more addicted, addicted to sex than any man. But uh, heterosexual... Uh, um, well, actually, um, you know, if is your thing, that's cool, too. You know, I don't think I'm any more to sex than anybody else. All right, so let's talk about Valentine's Day. You know what? Um, I was thinking, you know, thinking of, we're thinking about taking the cheese to the park and having, like, a little little picnic um, with the baby and just having some fun and playing and then um, having a sitter come over to the house later that night and uh, I'm going to take her out to dinner and celebrate our love for each other through you know some conversation and through some intimate moments through the rest of the evening sounds beautiful and romantic now your daughter india i think she had sent out some tweets um from the white house and you also have a duet music on the album the one is she working on a solo project you know india she has her um, her last year at usc right now so right now she's really just focused on school but she is extremely talented I mean, if anybody's ever gotten a chance to you know we did like a little youtube one of my songs you're the only one and she's just her voice is just undeniably brilliant and you know to answer the question we're going to concentrate on school you know as you hear me being the parent right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah school work first and then we'll think about the entertainment part of it yeah yeah then you can be a super after you get that degree be a superstar at school first and then then we you know you got you got plenty of time to make all that other stuff happen as we're talking about valentine's day how do you eric benet how do you know throughout your life when you fell in love with somebody what's the difference between we're friends we're dating and now i'm madly in love 
How do you know when that moment happens for you? Well, I think love is a very complex and layered, you know, nuanced thing. But for me, I think I just knew I was in love when I knew my life was just better because of this person. Uh, but I really felt like different aspects of my life just improved from being with this person. And when I couldn't imagine you know, my life without this person, and I knew it was love. The song that you and Tamia have, Spend My Life, that has become a wedding favorite. <laughs> a lot of people want to uh, walk down the aisle or have their first dance to Spend My Life. What song did you and your wife dance to at your wedding? My daughter, India, actually sang one of my favorite songs by Stevie Wonder. It was called You and I. Oh, and I don't know, uh, it's just a very beautiful, intimate song about conquering the world together as long as you're together. And as long as you stay in love together, you know, you can handle anything that comes your way. You know, that kind of summed up how I felt about our relationship. Do you ever have any moments where you might run into Prince or you might run into Halle Berry? And how do those go? Uh, so far, no. Oh, really? So far, no. But I'm sure all the listeners out there, maybe y'all been in that situation before where you might run into your ex and if you had a place in, in, in your life where where you've truly, you know, you've moved on and you've grown and things are going great with you, then there won't be nothing but, you know, good feelings and good wishes and kind of a brief encounter and kind of keeping it moving. Keep it moving. Great advice from Eric Benet. And how can we keep up with all your moves that you're making? Yeah, to keep up with the schedule, um, just come to my website, ericbenet.net. And what's your Twitter? Follow me uh, at Ebenet, E-B-E-N-E-T. Actually, I followed you last night at Jazzy T on air, so follow back. I'll do that. (laughs) All right, Eric Benet, thank you so much for joining me. Congratulations on the new baby, on the wonderful marriage, the wonderful album, The One, in stores and online now. And we look forward to the new single possibly running, and I can't wait to debut it here on WBLK. Thank you so much. All right, have a beautiful day, and happy Valentine's Day. God bless you.